In this video, we are going to see uh, how to relate it with the bulleted list control. Bulleted list control is used to display a list of items in organized and unorganized fashion. These items can be plain text links or items that can fire server side event. When I say organized, it means that in the form of uh, this, you can see 1, 2, comma 3, sorry, dash 4, 5. When I say unorganized, means it will come like a bulleted something like something like this. So bulleted list control automatically uh, render this kind of uh, UI to you when you when you specify the items of that. Now let us see the first how to related with the bulleted list. How to list items in the ordered list or unordered list from the server side. In order to uh, list items in the order, ordered or unordered list, we can use the bulleted list control. And uh, when I say server side, I mean that you can also use uh, or you can also list items in the bulleted list using the HTML control. And for that, you will have to probably use UL for unordered list and LI. And you can do that. But here we are going to use ASP.NET controls that basically get processed in the server side. So in order to you know, uh, list uh, the items from the server side or, or using ASP.NET control in the order in the unordered list, we can simply use the bullet list bulleted list control and you can specify your list item. So here our list item is from one to till four. When I will run this page, you will notice that. Uh, it will basically give us a page that will have four item you can see here that will have from item 1 through item 4 so this is the way to uh, list the uh, uh, list the uh, items using the bulleted list controller now in case we want ordered list then we will have to use bulleted list style equal to numbered when we will use bulleted list to type called a number what we will have happen is that this list will come in the ordered fashion means from one two three four point you can see that now it is coming item one item two item three item four and it is coming with the number one two three four so this is the way to specify the ordered list using the bulleted list control remember this bulleted list style property is very important in the bulleted list control now the next how to relate with this is that how to specify the bullet bullets as a custom image in the unordered list. You might have seen in on many websites that instead of uh, uh, showing as one two three or instead of showing a bullet, they they basically uh, specify a custom image like arrow. So in order to do that, what we can do is that we can use a bulleted list a style bulleted a style property of the bulleted list control and we can specify the URL so here you can see that I have specified a bulleted bullet image URL equal to a star.jpg that exists into my folder star.jpg you can see this star.jpg looks like this and uh, uh, then for that and then we will have to specify bulleted bullet style equal to custom image when you will style we will specify bullet style is equal to custom image then what will happen is that instead of the bull bullets or one two three four this uh, this image will be displayed okay so now when I will run this page you will notice that item one two three four will come with the custom arrow image or sorry star image you can see here instead of bullet a star is coming so the important property to note here is the is that bullet is style equal to custom image and bullet image URL equal to the e URL sorry the the image that you want to appear as a, as a, as a bullet now the next how to we are going to see is how to display hyperlinks using the bulleted list control actually it is basically very simple so let us see that in order to display hyperlinks using the bulleted list control we can use display mode property of the bulleted list so if you specify display mode is equal to hyperlink 
and then you can specify the list items so all the list items text will be used as the hyperlink text and list item value will be used as a hyper uh, as a hyperlink target URL so now here you can see that I have three items uh, the first uh, item is dotnet funda.com second is itfunda.com and third is myfunda.net and corresponding URLs are also specified now when I will uh, run this page you will see that I will have three items in this list and uh, with the hyperlink all three items will be with the hyperlinks and clicking on any of the item will send uh, the user to the corresponding URL for example let me click uh, .net .com and you will see that it is uh, redirecting to .net .com website So the important property here is display mode is equal to hyperlink. The next how to relate with bulleted uh, list is how to fire server side event by clicking the items of bulleted list control. This scenario is basically very very frequently used where you want to display uh, a link button as a bulleted list and on click of any of the item you can you can you want to fire a server side event so that you know that which item of this bulleted list has been clicked so in order to do that what we can do is that we can specify display mode property to link button you can see here that in particular in this particular uh, code I have specified uh, display mode is equal to link button and on click event equal to file server side event so now let us create a, a server side event as well so here is my server side event okay now here what I am doing is that uh, on click of this particular bullet list items so file server side event will uh, basically execute and in this we are using bulleted list event argument and using that event argument we are getting the index of the item that has been clicked and uh, then we can uh, use the indexer of items property of the bulleted list uh, control and uh, uh, retrieve its text or the value so in this case what will happen is that when we will re uh, when we will run this page let us run this page when we run this page you can see that all these three items that is specified into this bullet to list control is coming as a, a link button notice see, see the status bar here when I will mouse over on all these three buttons and now when I will click any of the item then fire server side event will fire uh, will execute here and it will write selected item text and selected item value so you can see that when I will click let's just click myfunda.net so when I click myfunda.net the text is myfunda.net and the value is http www.myfunda.net so this is the way to basically fire a server side event on click of any item from the bulleted list control so the the property that is very important in this case is on click event and display mode is equal to a link button now the next how to related with uh, uh, bulleted list control is how to populate uh, bulleted list items from the server side by providing data source or inserting items see uh, sometimes you might have scenario where uh, all the items of this bulleted list is coming from the database in that kind of scenario what you can do is that you can uh, you can specify the data text field and data value field of the bulleted list control and then you can set the data source from the code behind and then call the data bind method let us see that how to do that now here is my uh, bullet list control and uh, you can see that I have uh, I have a display mode equal to list link button and on click event we are firing fire server side event and uh, I have a specified data text field and data value field as we specify in the drop down list or any other similar kind of control and then uh, what I'm doing here is that in the uh, I'm going to the code behind let me just create the code behind code here so here is my code behind code or you can better to say server side code okay 
now let us see okay so here what we are doing is that uh, we uh, under the page load uh, event we are calling bind bullet list uh, method and this is the private method basically and we are making sure that this particular method will be called in, uh, when the space will be loaded for the first time and because in this method we are using data set so we'll have to use another namespace here and that namespace is using system dot data now using system dot data we can use the data set uh, uh, object and in this data set object i have first instantiated it and then using the read xml method we are reading the xml data now the xml data is this the same xml that uh, we are using throughout this tutorial and here we have departments as a parent node and there are many department here now uh, once we have read the xml into the data set we are specifying the data set as the data source of this bullet list control and then we are calling the data bind method calling the data bind method will bind all the records of this xml uh, file into the bullet list control now you can see that i have a specified name as a data text field and id as a data value field here you can see this so all these uh, th these xml data will be added as an item to this bullet list control now i just wanted to show one more thing here that how to uh, insert any item in in, in mid of the items already populated through uh, uh, through this xml file so in order to do that uh, as we had used in the drop down list or any other similar type of control we have used the insert method and master the uh, index as a parameter and the second uh, uh, parameter will be the list item so here i have uh, written new item inserted as the text of that this particular item and 11 as the value now when any item will be clicked of this bullet list control then that will fire this that will execute this fire server side event and here it will write the uh, clicked text and clicked value of the bullet list control so let us run this page and see how it is looking like now here is my list items you can see that all the data from the xml file is being populated here and because i have written this insert method uh, on the bullet list control and i want to populate it at the fourth position this is zero based index so three will populate basically at the fourth position now when i will click any of the item then what will happen is that that clicked item text and value will be written on the page so you can see that i am clicking on soft engineering and it is writing the text and its value when i click on new item inserted then it will write new item inserted as a text and the value is 11 that we had specified here 